Good morning everybody and welcome to a new vlog, welcome to a new day. Today is gonna be an awesome day, look at this. Nah, it's not, I'm just kidding, the weather is awful right now. As you can see it's like so windy. It doesn't really matter because the rest of the week will be beautiful, I'm telling you. And I have awesome news for you guys. I just met someone from eLongboard and that means from now on I will have the newest longboards, the newest electric longboards. Anyway, I would say let's get the day started! And I'm at the skate park because it's raining out and today's question is Will this electric skateboard, actually the Luboard 3.0, survive skateboarding? I wanna skate it a whole day, we'll see what I can do on it actually. It's really hard to do anything on it because um, the tail is really short and it's pretty high from the ground, but still. That already was a little impact. I'll tell you now why it's so hard to do something on it. You know, when I stand on that tail, it's usually, usually the, my board is like, you know, sliding away. That's not gonna happen with a normal skateboard. And now let's see if it's still working. Oh yes! And now let's see if this board is surviving a board slide on this rail. I don't think that you can do more tricks on this board. I just made my thumbnail right there and that was some real impact now. As you can see, you can see some slides on my board. And now, okay, okay, come on, Lou board. Yes, no way, it's still working, I can't believe that. I've never had that with another electric skateboard. Wow, I think the last one I destroyed actually. Um, and now, let's do a couple flips. Let's do a tray flip and a heel flip. Uh, I, I really, I never thought that it's gonna survive a board slide. Wow, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Lou Board, you are amazing. This board is so heavy. <laughs> it's so hard to do tricks on it, especially flips. I'll give a couple more tries. But yeah, I think I'm just not able to flip it, actually. Well, I give up on that tray flip. It's almost impossible. The board is just way too heavy. Last time I've done it with the loop board 1.0, it's definitely not the same. That's like... 5.5 kilos and the 1.0 is really 4 kilos. Yeah, uh, let's see if it's still riding though. I turned everything off. Well, that sound is good. Ooh, okay. I mean, that was some real impact. What? <laughs> oh, that, this is just, it's just crazy. What the fuck, you can really skate with this board. I didn't expect anything like this. I mean, here's, there's a motor and electricity and everything in it. Pfft, I can't believe it. I would never try with my stereo board or anything else, but with this one, wow. <laughs> I'm also getting used to that board. I really think you can skate with it now. The only disadvantage though is, it's really hard to do tricks on this board because the tail is so short. I have no more ideas left on how to destroy the board. The board is kind of warm right now though. Oh well, it's because the board is still on. And now, oh yeah, everything is still on. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there you go. I already thought I destroyed it. <laughs> it's still working, as you can see. Yeah, 
No problems at all. I think it's insane. And that was the last test with this board. Um, you'll find the link in the description. This, this is the 3.0, it's a thousand bucks. You know what, you'll find everything on the loop board page. You have seen, you've heard me talking about it a couple times already, yeah? All right, and that was the last test with the Lubor 3.0. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, well, the day is not done yet. Maybe I'm going to do some normal skate tricks here as well. And tomorrow I'm going to have a special board, the Inboard M1. And yeah, I think I'm going to do a review with this board. If you have any more ideas what I could do with this board, tell me in the description. Maybe you want to buy that board and you want to know something special about it, tell me in the comments. And now let's go for a normal skate session. Motorized manual ever. <laughs> it's really hard, right? I can tell you guys, I've tried it before. I would say it's time to try an Ollie down some stairs. Would, ollie you, down would you give stairs. it a try? A motorized Ollie down the stairs. <laughs> Maybe one try. <laughs> you know, I'm doing a survival test with the board. So it has to survive skateboarding. Because, because they advertise the board with skateboarding, so yeah, the run up's really hard. You have to. Maybe should I do a run up like this? Want to open a door? Maybe you want to open it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! I was like full speed, and <laughs> then I fell. That's right, too hard. You got it, man. You got it. I think it's hard to do anything on that board. And now, the ultimate test, is it still working? Oh, oh fuck. It's what? going backwards, yeah, because you have to, oh, wait, we have to click here. Oh, now it's clear. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's still working. Yeah. I, I really, I make no advertising for this board. I'm, I'm just testing it. <laughs> <laughs> and it works very well. I'm just well. like, it's cool if someone else can say, hey, it's still working. Yeah, nice. it's very good, nice. I gotta say. Yeah, it's cool. Well, I know there's lots of electric skateboarding in my videos lately. Um, it's just because it's working so well. Yeah, I'm outside again because my parents are sleeping. I mean, check out the last 10 videos. Every electric skateboard video is doing well. Which I think is a little weird because videos like the wakeboard video or the bike video put so much more work in it and they just don't work well. And I say to myself, let's do just a comparison, I will get at least 15,000 views on it. Because of electric skateboarding, my channel is working pretty well right now. I get like 200 new subscribers every single day, which is amazing. I just wanted to know of you guys, what do you think about all this? Tell me in the comments, do you want to see more skateboarding videos? Tell me in the comments. Hopefully we'll see each other tomorrow again, because tomorrow I'll test an awesome board, the Inboard M1. I would say, see you.